Hey guys, my name is Maria Jose Govea. Some people know me as the super maniac and I'm a photographer. I'm based out of Toronto currently, but I travel a lot. I do a lot of uh, music photography. I shoot a lot of concerts. I do a lot of music portraits and uh, I'm very much involved with the electronic music scene. Today, we are going to talk about shooting in low light conditions mainly because yeah, I shoot a lot of concerts and I find myself shooting with extremely difficult situations and low light. It's important for you to look around and see what's happening around you. Look for interesting people, look for, you know, interesting details that will help you tell the story and, you know, cover the event way better than it's just like artists, artists. Like sometimes like if, if it's way too dark, don't waste time shooting the artists. Like go walk around and try to like shoot something else where there's light. You know, just don't get stuck on one thing. So there was this really weird guy in the crowd with suspenders and a mask and he just caught my eye and I, when you get close, you sort of, you know, you get more of uh, the vibe, you know, of the person and, and the image. So I just walked up to him and I took a shot. So this is a 1 60th of a second, uh, which uh, actually worked really well here because you can see everything's like blurred behind him which I think it looks really cool and you can see that sort of like the movement of the party and the energy, but his face is completely sharp. So I focused on his face and everything else is sort of like a blur and I shot that at 3.5. So that's why you sort of see that, you know, the only thing in focus is pretty much like his face. This is a shot of Glitch Mob. As you can see, they're like super dark and edgy. So. The shot is a little bit grainy, but I don't mind it just because I can get away with it. It's, it's a dark, you know, image. And luckily uh, for this image, even though um, it's uh, one sixtieth of a second, they were they were pretty still at this point. I got a sharp image, and yeah, I sort of like took advantage of the fact that I went to the rehearsal and I knew that at the, you know, at the moment where they come on, they were gonna be like standing, you know, still. And I'm like, okay, cool. I know that at that point they're gonna be standing still, so it's easier for me to get a sharp image if they're not moving. So that's that. Okay, so for this DM word image, my main concern was that um, Yolandi was moving really, really fast, and I get, I wanted to follow her and get a sharp shot of her um, while she was moving. So I went all the way up to one four hundredth of a second, and then I based all my settings on that. And what I ended up with was a ISO of uh, 1250, which is not bad. And uh, the lighting was, you know, pretty decent there. So my, my ISO was 1250 and my aperture was 2.8. The three lenses that I use the most for shooting concerts are my 50, uh, my Canon 51.4, my Canon 16 to 35 2.8, and my Canon 72-200 2.8. So I, throughout the night, I'm switching back and forth and I'm switching between all three lenses. I also, uh, for like DJ stuff, I, I have a fisheye 50 millimeter 2.8. If I need to get something else, I, I rent stuff, you know, which I highly recommend for people who have a basic setup or like not a great camera. If you go and rent a lens for a show that, you know, for a show that's really important to you, you will see the difference in results. You don't have to own a lot of stuff, you can rent. Uh, getting a, a, 50, a 50 millimeter lens is usually pretty cheap. So I think it's a, it's a great investment and a great thing to buy if you, wanna, um, if, you want to, if you want to do concert photography. This is shot at 1.4 with my 50 millimeter lens. I was actually standing on stage on the, in the, inside the DJ booth looking up and um, yeah, so this person was like really close to the uh, to the stage and like with his hands coming up and down and like every time the hand would come up, I would think it looked really pretty. So I pretty much like stood there, you know, and it was really, really dark. So I stood there and like waited for the hand to come up and I caught it. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's 1.4. I couldn't have gotten that, that sharp hand in such low lighting conditions without my 1.4. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.